Can you imagine going through school as prepared to follow your dream, first from primary to secondary and finally becoming a nurse, yet unable to practice because you've not been posted to a facility to start work? The above scenario is a situation of a dealer in Bayburi, a trained nurse who works as a head porter or kayayu at the Medina market. In the following interview, Fadila tells GBC24 why she had to resort to less fancy job, carrying loads for shoppers in the market for a paltry fee. Head porters or kayaye, as they are commonly called, usually carry people's load or luggage for a fee. The kayayo business thrives in the city centers where commercial activities and shopping are common. Usually, those who engage in this business are young boys and girls with little or no education. However, this is someone who has been trained for the formal sector, a professional nurse. The news team met Ms. Fadila in Beiburi around midday, already plying her trade at the Medina market. She and her client were busy buying assorted items, mostly foodstuffs. Fadila hails from Fumbisi in the Upper West region, after which she proceeded to the Dungwao Nothing Nursing Training College and came out successfully. However, since she received her certificate in August 2016, she has not been posted. Fadila says once she didn't get a job in the formal sector, the only option left for her was to move to the capital city and work as a headporter, Kayayu. She says, however, that there is no satisfaction in what she's doing, knowing that this is not what she would like to do for a living. No, I'm never satisfied. Yes. Because sometimes carrying the love is of you, go to the house and you'll be very tired. Yes. The work is very stressful, but because there's nothing to do, yes. I don't want to be idling. I have to get myself involved in something. That's why I'm doing it. She says, being a kayo is not only frustrating, but dangerous. Oh, it's very dangerous. Yes. Because there are always cars moving around. Yeah. Sometimes you, be, you can be hit by a car. Yeah. Any vehicle at all, one can be knocked down with. Yeah. And there are others who don't move down with bikes. Yeah. People move around. And the place is always choked sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes even you carry something to go and fall down. You have been asked to pay that something. Yeah. If you didn't happen to meet somebody who is that good, yeah. you can't do it. If you happen to break something like, if you go for a glass and you happen to break, the person may ask you to account for it. Yeah. Fadila says she will quit the Kayayu business as soon as she gets a better job. I wish I was being called yeah. to go and do my nursing than doing this way because it doesn't help. Now I'm not making enough money but I just because I don't want to be idling and there's nothing to do. I want to get something small for myself. That's why I get myself involved. According to her, while she appreciates government's job creation efforts, not all graduates have benefited. She has therefore appealed to the government to do more to post those of them who are still awaiting postings. Ms. Fadila's story will, however, not be complete if the role played by a concerned citizen, Madame Rebecca Muzo, is not mentioned. It was Rebecca who drew the attention of GBC24 to the lady after Fadila had met her in the market and offered to carry her load. Madame Rebecca Amuzu says she was so satisfied with Fadila's services. Somewhere last month, I came here and I was shopping. Then this young lady came to me. Ma, can I help you carry your loads? I said, no. She said, Ma, please, just for a fee, small thing. So I looked at her, and the way she was introducing herself to me, I got interested. I said, carry the loads and let's go. So she followed me. We went around, and each time they push her, she would say, oh, we are also human beings. Then she will go. When she meets uh, a kayayo being pushed, and the kayayo is furious, she will say, don't mind them. Then she will go. So when we finally got to my car, I gave her something more than what I should give to a normal kayayo. And I told her, don't spend it on clothes. Go and save it at the bank, so that when you get enough money, you can invest it into something proper for yourself. Then she said, hmm, ma, it's a long story. So I told her, I am interested in that long story. And she said, I am a trainer. 
It took me more than two minutes to give her an answer. And since then, I took her number. Yeah. When I'm coming to, coming to the market, I'll call her and say, who are you? Please meet me so that we shop. Fadila's story may be one in isolation, but highlights the unemployment situation in the country. In the country, she needs help. She says she will be happy to get a nursing job, a better paying job she has been trained for.